to talk about this tonight. Um, it's a little nerve wracking and I literally just came up with the topic and I'm like, let's just hit the live button and see what happens. But what I really want to talk to you guys about tonight, what is really important for me to just get the conversation going, get you to start thinking about is the fact that women are so hard on themselves about their appearance, so ridiculously hard on themselves about their appearance that it stops them from showing up in their life, showing up in their business, showing up everywhere. And the thing is, it's all complete bullshit. The reason why you feel like you need to look a certain way or act a certain way or do things a certain way is literally because of the way that you've been programmed growing up and it's not real. The feeling, if you have, if you look at somebody else who's successful, who's killing it and they look different than you, doesn't mean that you need to look like them or act like them or anything like that to just get out of your shell and get going. So this is what I want to talk about today. I want to share with you some real tips on how you can stop being so hard on yourself about your appearance, how you can stop looking at everyone else and thinking that they have, you know, what it takes or what it needs to be and that you don't because that's all complete bullshit. I want to get rid of those beliefs so that you can start showing up where you want to show up, speaking up where you want to speak up. If you're starting a business, not being afraid to do webinars or go live or put your picture on your about page and all of that stuff. So, just looking, hi, Kat, hi, Veronica, hi, other cat. there's two cats here, hi, Vision Words, hi, Endel, thanks so much for joining tonight. Guys, if you have any questions, if you have feedback, if you have your own point of view, your own story, I want to hear all about it. So, where do I even start? So, we have been, as women, kind of brainwashed in a way because we've grown up you know, looking at Barbie dolls that all look a certain way, or we look at, we watch movies and the Disney princesses look the whole, the whole way. Or even when you go into a movie and you look at the main character, I rarely see main characters that are of different ethnicities, different shapes and sizes. And so you cannot help it, but if this is all that you see, that's what you think is normal. And then you go and you look in the mirror and you say, well, why don't I look like or what do I have to change to look like that, right? And that is all complete bullshit. So what I want to share with you is that is the fact that I want you to get really used to showing up with your energy, showing up with that fire, showing up with that belief that you have in, in what you what it is that you want to create, what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to share. And believe me, that shines through your appearance. You see people who look, you know, cookie cutter, who look a certain way, who you know, if they don't have a good personality, if they're not lively, if they're not, you know, excited, you're not really that interested in them. And then there's people that look different who you love them, you want to show up for them, you want to be there for them. So the main thing that is important, if you want to show up in your business, if you want to make new friends, if you want to be the loudest person at work and share your ideas, the main important thing to focus on is your energy. The main important thing to focus on is your intention. Right? Something that I learned at the very beginning of starting my business is that love and energy, the more you put it out, you will get it back. It's a non-negotiable thing. If you show up and you come out of a place of fear or you come of a place of doubt and you're so busy looking at what everyone else is doing and comparing yourself to everyone else, you're going to show up with that energy and that's going to be the thing that sets you back. It has nothing to do with your appearance. Another thing that I want to share is that if we want this to change, if we want the standard of beauty to change, it's up to you to start showing up. It's up to you to stop hiding. It's up to you to speak up and be the face of whatever it is that you need to stand up for. If you're feeling this way, believe me, there are thousands, maybe millions of other people who are feeling the same way, who are scared, who have a mission, who have a passion, who have a story, who have something that they wanna share. And it just takes one person to show up and to just do the damn thing and to forget about the rules or, or realize that there really is no rules, there really is no standard. Every single day that you show up, you set the standard. And every single day that you show up, you set the tone. So everything that you've learned up to this point, because the first seven years of your life, you're literally just taking in 
what has been fed to you from TV, from the media, from people around you, from friends who make, and you know, it's not your fault too, because you grow up and your mom is maybe looking in the mirror saying, oh, I need to lose the last 10 pounds. Or you see, you know, people, celebrities getting plastic surgery. So it's not your fault. Subliminally, subconsciously, you've been taking in all that stuff. So it's been reframing you to think that that's the way that it has to be or that you have to change who you are so that you fit into that. You do not have to. The beautiful thing is what I'm finding is that the more different you are, the more unique you are, the more willing you are to talk and to be something worth talking about and to be exciting and to be interesting, that's what's going to get you the attention. That's what's going to make you stand out. That if you're growing a business, that's what's going to make you different than being the same as everyone else. The reason why my business grew so quickly and why I was able to create such a unique community that I did is because I didn't look at somebody else before I took the step forward. I just decided what the fuck do I want to talk about today? And then I just showed up and I shared that and I had a mission and I had a passion and I want to share that with you as well. So it's okay to be weird. It's okay to be different. I'm really freaking weird. It's more fun when you're a little bit weird. Kat's on here. She's kind of weird. Sharice is on here. She's kind of weird. It's okay to be weird. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be fun. We're in such a new space, especially social media and the internet. Everything is changing. Everything is innovating. Everything is completely brand new. You get to create the rules. You get to set it up as you go. You do not have to take in and, and play by somebody else's standard. Kat says, I'm so weird and I love it. So what I want to do is help you with, if you feel like you can, you're constantly, you're looking in the mirror, you're saying, oh, I wish my nose was like this, and I wish my eyes were like that, and I wish my hair was like that, or whatever. Um, Kat's such a good example. She has pineapples, and it's weird, and it's different, and people freaking love her for it, right? So if you find that you're looking in the mirror, and you are talking down on yourself, and you're being hard on yourself, and you're not doing the things that you want to do, you're not going to the parties, or you're not making the first move, or you're not showing up online on your business, and you're not putting your face on your about page, I want you to ask yourself, what are you focusing on? Okay. Are you looking in the mirror and you're zooming in on that one little tiny thing that you don't love about yourself? Because if that's the case, whatever you focus on is all you're going to see in every area of your life, whether it's business, whether it's relationships, whether it's your job, whether it's money, whatever you are focusing on expands. So if you are focusing on the negative, that one little tiny thing, like we all have that friend who has like perfect glowing skin and then she has one pimple and it's all she's talking about all day. And to her, it seems like the biggest thing in the world, but to everyone else, they don't, they wouldn't even notice that flaw they wouldn't even notice that little thing the only reason it's a big deal is because you're making it a big deal so why focus on the negative thing when you could actually switch that and focus on the thing that's going to help you focus on the thing that's going to serve you when I launched Yes Supply, I had to do a huge mindset shift for myself. I had to go from being, you know, regular employee mindset, used to people telling me what to do and, and doing whatever was in my job description, to being a leader, which meant that, of course, I had a lot of doubts. Of course, I had a lot of fear. Of course, I, I was thinking, oh, my God, can I do this because I've never done it before? And then I was able to go on and have multiple five-figure months, right? And so anything is possible. You only know what your limits are when you do them. If you just sit there and you wonder and you hope and you pray, but you don't actually take action, you'll never know. So what you have to do is shift from focusing on the negative, focus on what's not working, to focus on what is working. And the same goes with accepting yourself, and the same goes with accepting your beauty in your unique way, however your beauty is, because you are beautiful and you just have to see it in yourself. So instead of looking in the mirror and looking at the one wonky eyebrow or the fact that, you know, I don't know, whatever it is, a zit or something like that, I want you, um, and this is called mirror work, and a great person to look up to and to look for more information on this is Louise Hay. I want you to start doing some mirror work. So I want you to look in the mirror, and I want you to look for the things that you like about yourself. And I 
am willing to bet that if you look in the mirror and you start to focus on what's working for you and you start to focus on your strength, you're going to start to see things that you just ignored because you got so used to it. I was actually reading a really incredible article about the fact that our brains are so focused on novelty. So if you have something that's working for you, you have something that's going right for you, you get used to it so fast that you stop feeling gratitude about it. That's why if you're super healthy, you stop even recognizing or feeling grateful that you're healthy because you're so used to being healthy. But those people who are not healthy, they wish that they had that, right? They wish that they had that opportunity to be healthy and go outside and walk and see their friends and look at the trees and listen to the birds or whatever that is, right? But you take it for granted because you have it every day. And the same goes, um, so I'm just gonna um, explain the brain thing too. So your brain, when it gets used to that, it's, it forgets about it and it wants to focus on the new thing. Um, it, it actually puts on a shot of dopamine whenever you see or whenever you interact with something that's new, with, ever, with, with something that's a novelty. And that's actually why we always want what we don't have because it actually triggers a different part in the brain that turns on our motivation receptors that makes us want to go after something that we don't have instead of being happy with what we do. So what I want you to start to do is look in the mirror and start to think about what do I have that's amazing about myself, right? My hair is naturally curly. I straighten it all the time, right? And so many people, they come and they look at me and they're like, oh my God, you have the most beautiful curly hair. I wish I had hair like that. And look at me, I have curly hair and I'm straightening my hair all the time. Why is that? I'm tall, I'm 5'11", and I think being tall is just like whatever. But there's so many people who are like, oh my God, I wish I was that tall, right? And it's because I got so used to it that I'm just like, ugh, whatever. And I'm willing to bet that if you just sit there and you think for one second, you have so many things that are beautiful about you, that are unique about you, that are amazing about you, that people wish that they could have. And you just take it as, oh yeah, whatever, this is just me, right? And so I want you to think about what is it that you have that is amazing? And every day when you get up and you look in the mirror, you feel grateful about that. And you feel excited to show up and have your presence and to show up on your live streams or to do your webinars and to get rid of all that fear and that doubt that is holding you back and instead say, I'm going to show up because I have something unique. There's something unique and beautiful about my face or about the way that I look or about the way that I talk. Another thing too, I remember like I have more of a like soft spoken voice and I've had times where I've thought that, that was a negative thing, right? Especially in my business, I sometimes think, oh my God, maybe I need to have like a strong, like really present, rough voice so that people like listen to me and I command attention. But actually I've been creating really incredible, I do incredible meditations with my one-on-one -on -one clients. I send meditations and affirmations to my members in the collective every morning to help them get motivated and start their day with intention. And it's actually my more soft-spoken voice that helps get through to people more, that helps them relax and take in that stuff. So I've gotten so many really incredible compliments about my voice, which I used to think of as a negative thing, right? And so what are those things that you're like beating yourself up as that are actually a gift, that are actually there to help you propel you forward to do the thing that you're actually meant to do? So I want you to focus on doing the mirror work. Focus on doing the mirror work. Look for the things that are positive for you. If thoughts come into your head that are not serving you, Ask yourself, why am I thinking that thought? It's not helping me. It's not propelling me forward. And we live in a world where you your, and your inner world is a reflection of what you're going to see in the outer world. So if you're only focusing on the negatives within you, guess what? The world that you live in is going to be negative. And you have the choice and you have the option every day to decide which world you live in. So if you want things to become more positive, if you want more opportunities to show up, if you want people to be nicer to you, if you want your boyfriend to respect you more or whatever that is, guess what? You don't have to force everything around you to change. The first place where it's going to change is on the inside. And if you want everyone to love you and accept you and respect you more, that starts with you first loving you appreciating yourself, showing yourself gratitude for the things that are incredible about you, 
and then guess what? Everything around you will change. But I promise you that these super hard, high standards that you're putting on yourself about the way that you need to look to be successful or the way that you need to look in order to achieve a certain outcome are complete crap. So I want you to stop believing it. What I want you to also do is think about, so if you have something about you that's holding you back, maybe you have a limiting belief that, you know, I can't be successful because I'm tall, for example. What I want you to do is open up Google and I want you to search successful people who are tall or people who are doing great things who are whatever it is, whatever it is that you think is limiting you or stopping you. And I want you to look at all the incredible examples of people who are actually killing it, who are doing the thing that you want to do, who have this thing that your whole life you think has been holding you back, but really it's just all inside your mind. Because I promise you, there are no rules about the way that you need to look to be successful. There are no rules about the way that you need to look to achieve the goal that you want. The only person who creates the rules for your life is you. The only person who creates the rules for your standard is you, okay? Um, I have so many examples in my life of, you know, I grew up in a single parent household. I never had any financial help to start a business. I did not, I do not have a degree. I have a diploma in visual merchandising, yet I have a six figure business doing work that I love. I get to travel. I get to work from home. I get to work with incredible freaking clients who I absolutely love. And I feel like they're all my friends because they're just so awesome and so badass, right? Like you get to create your life. And literally when I started this business, I didn't even know that this industry existed. I just literally jotted down a whole bunch of ideas of the type of life that I wanted and the type of work that I wanted to do and the things that I believed in. And then I said, guess I'll just start a blog and I'll see what happens. And this is what happened. I literally lived the best life ever. I get to control everything about my life and, and I get to set the rules. I get to create the rules for my life. And so I really wanted to just come on here and share this with you. It's something that not really many people are talking about and it can be a little bit scary to talk about, but I think that it's something that needs to be talked about because it's something that is always creeping for people in their subconscious always creeping underneath and I really really wanted to address it because I just really need you to know that the way that you look cannot stop you the way that you look cannot hinder you what is going to propel you forward and help you create the life and create the goals and create the income and create the business and create the job or create the opportunities or even have the relationship that you want is all about you and the energy that you put out the intention that you set and you making sure that you are focusing on the solution and not the problem. So I saw that there was a ton of questions and comments that came in. <laughs> Someone said, amazing to watch while you burp your newborn. Congrats on your newborn. Oh my God, lots of comments, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I love, love, love hanging out with you guys here. I'm doing live streams every single day, so definitely tune back in. And let me just see if there's any comments. Um, Veronica, spiritual warrior, love that you're a spiritual warrior, it says, I love showing up with my energy and fire, cool, Solaris says, I love my curly hair, I didn't go to a bed because my hair, like my curly hair, I didn't go to a bed because my hair wasn't straight, I thought it looked unprofessional, but down inside, I know it's not, I regret missing out on that so much, see, this is why I needed to talk about this, because I know and I see and I've been there before, not going to an event because of a breakout or not going to see friends because my hair wasn't straight or what, like look how frizzy my hair is. Like it's like, I don't even know why I even bothered because it's like so humid and I love it really hot. So it's really hot in my apartment right now. But this is why I want to talk to you about this because people like you because of you. The thing that's going to make someone be your friend is not the way you look. If you go to an event and you have a huge smile on your face and you're interested in everyone around you, everyone's going to be interested in you. It's literally whatever you put out, you're going to get back in. So just put out that energy of love and caring and generosity and kindness and you're going to get that back a hundred times over. So thank you for sharing. Solaris Garden, Kat says she's weird. Hi, Sharice. Hi, Vision Words. I love your post-its. I use them all the time. Um, 
sometimes I think negative, but this is Veronica. Sometimes I think negative, but I, oh, but I always gift my thoughts to positive loving thoughts and all the things I'm blessed with. Yes, I definitely adjust your thoughts to positive loving thoughts. Amazing. Well, ladies, I hope you love this. I'm keeping it up for 24 hours. If you have any questions on this, if you are nervous, if you're scared, if you want to ask me any questions on mirror work or you want to ask me any questions on how to start to love yourself more, to be comfortable with your appearance, even if you feel like you look different or something like that, send me a message. This is what I'm so passionate about. I want to help women become the most empowered version of themselves. I do not want anyone to look back on their life at seven years old and say, I wish that I tried, but I was too subconscious about my hair, or I wish that I had done that thing, but I was too afraid of the doubt. This is my mission in life. So I'm so grateful that you watched the end. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Please share this with anybody who you think needs to hear this message. Please share this with any woman who you think is dimming her light or not showing up in her life or business because of fear, because you guys deserve to live the best life ever. You have unlimited potential inside you to create an incredible life. And all you have to do is just take that first step forward through the fear, through the doubt, and you'll see on the other side, it's so much easier and it's smooth sailing. So I love you guys so much. Have a great night, Ma. Only take guests for an answer.